if you look at the entire value chain of uh, procurement of technology, there's a procedure for for uh, for uh, um, you know getting technology, and so that process of procurement technology takes a lot of time, and so part of what we've tried to do here is to minimize uh, the time required that countries uh, will need to set up their infrastructure uh, across across their uh, technology platforms. The uh, core idea is, of course, you know, standardize technology and, and make it available uh, so countries can, can, can plug and play. But more importantly, uh, for many countries, uh, building different layers of technology infrastructure and maintaining them, upgrading them over time is both time consuming and expensive. So partly what DAS tries to do is, can we standardize the features so that um, the countries can deploy this much more quickly, um, make minor changes adapted to the country context, but really be able to get up, get off the ground pretty quickly. I think that's the, the primary sort of problem we try to solve. And um, this is not, a replacement for the approach many countries take uh, to build their own technology, especially in developing countries. It comes from donor money, uh, soft loans from the World Bank or multilateral institutions, and so on. So the financing of DAS is not going to be too dissimilar uh, from what governments have been doing in terms of allocating either uh, you know, money through their budgets or through donor funding uh, to enable some of the stuff. Um, I think what DAS will help is move the conversation from a capital expenditure sort of lens, which is how a lot of technology procurement happens right now, to hopefully an operational expenditure. So we don't have to have big allocations of budgets up front, um, and you can actually pay as you go. And if, we, if this results in a way that countries have a choice, uh, they, they don't have to be locked into a particular vendor, and they can deploy pretty quickly and upgrade systems on a, on a periodic basis, this might be a better option for many, many, many countries. Now, um, as I said, you know, I think the important thing is countries take ownership of both the decision and the technology and figure out what gives them the best outcomes that they're looking for.